The pathology of Alzheimer's starts decades before the symptoms. And the ultimate goal for anyone in the field is to get a treatment to people before the consequences are suffered. What's really strengthened it for me also is I actually was doing old age psychiatry. So I saw all this firsthand. That made it very, very clear to me just how much suffering this disease carries. It impacts on everything. It's your memory. It, it, it defines who you are, how you interact with everyone else. And when you lose that, when, when that goes away from you, it's a terrible thing because that is what makes each person, each human being, unique. I know a couple of people who have been through Alzheimer's. My gran was one of them. And it's a slow process, not just for the person. It's as hard on the family. We're all touched by dementia and some of us it's had a really pretty profound and painful impact on. And for our team to have been part of something that could have made the breakthrough, that's pretty special. Coming back to that first intuition, when I understood, you know, here's something that can dissolve the lesions that drives dementia, I couldn't sleep, I was so excited. Um, because it meant that, you know, here was a possibility really, really of helping people. You see a disease like dementia and you then suddenly have the opportunity to be part of a team that tries to help these people. And we are here not just to prove that the statistics can do it, we are here to help millions. It's more like a family than a work environment. Everybody believes and has the vision and they all want to be able to make a difference. I didn't want to become involved in research that was driven by either commercial needs or large-scale companies or farmers. I wanted something very specific that really could ultimately make a difference to people on a very global scale. So, of course, it's exciting to be involved in something that at the moment is a global, unmet medical need. The idea of an Alzheimer's drug to me was a great application of organic chemistry and Claude's approach was very different to the standard approach. The tenacity and the belief to go against the tide is quite incredible and that belief is embedded in the, in the organisation. Everybody knows their role, everybody knows why we are here. You sometimes sit back and you think you are part of this enormous effort and what is going to have an enormous impact on so many people and that is exhilarating. I would be really happy if at the end I could say I'm proud of what I have achieved looking back that I helped even if it's a tiny little bit but I helped sufferers from these diseases. I have a very clear image of you know the kind of patient I would have seen and uh, them being able to say oh look you know mum's mum's better now but that multiplied many, many times. And it's crystal clear to me that the greater good is served by doing my best to bring this to fruition. And through that, I achieve my greatest satisfaction.